James. Hello, Joe. Hey, uh, James, hey. my first question is, um, has living in America helped you perfect your accent? Oh, um, well, I, you know, I, I think it probably has had a, an impact on it. I mean, I worked with a really amazing uh, vocal coach uh, called Liz, who has been Nicole Kidman's vocal coach for, for years. And I mean, I owe a massive amount to her. She was incredible, but I do think I'm helped by like, uh, you know, I have an American daughter now. <laughs> is her accent actually American? Well, my son, who's nine, he flips between a British accent and American accent. So if he's got like a friend around or whatever, like obviously this is kind of before lockdown and stuff, he would come up and he'd go, um, Dad, can we go in the garden? And I'd go, sure. And then he'd go, David, come on, let's go out in the yard. And I'd be like, what is happening? Like, he really does see it as two kind of languages in a way. Like, oh. I remember him saying to me, Dad, they don't know what a bin is. Like, you know, it's, so I do think it probably did help, yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. And Joe, congratulations. This was your first lead role and you absolutely smashed it. You were brilliant. What I'd Thank like to know you. is, please uh, tell me if you treated yourself to something nice with the paycheck of the prom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I, you know, I try and save as much as I can. And I'm so glad that I did because, you know, quarantine in 2020, it, it proves that you really, you know, you never know what's, <laughs> what's going to happen next. Yeah, it's very, very true. Um, James, do you ever read any reviews, like your character in the film? Do you ever read any reviews from, you know, Broadway or any films? Um, I've, I've, um, I've kind of trained myself out of doing that, if I'm honest, because I used to all the time, I used to read everything, and I realised I sort of might as well just punch myself in the face because, you know, anything that's good you'll forget and anything that's bad I'll, I'll just realized I started sort of hanging on to all of those things and and it started affecting how I was in my house with my wife and kids and they haven't done anything to deserve me just being hung up on on whatever anybody may have said about me so I, I really try to not engage with any of any of that kind of stuff really because you know the, the truth is the long and short of it I think is so much of all of that stuff, social media, reviews, criticism, all those things, you're either like the best thing in the world or you're awful. Mm. And neither of those are true. <laughs> so you've got to understand that you have to take it all with a bag of salt. This isn't true and this isn't true. And you're probably just somewhere in the middle and sometimes <laughs> you weren't very good. And sometimes you might've been quite good, but really it doesn't do you any good sort of as a human being to to hang on to any of those things I don't think definitely I mean it gives you thick skin at least and um, sadly I've got to wrap but just gonna say James I mean you stole Christmas last year with Gavin and Stacey no doubt it'll be on this Christmas as a nice repeat and hopefully you'll come back in 10 years time and do another one for us <laughs> well I hope it'll I hope it won't take us 10 years I hope I mean I hope so but you're just so busy these days who knows <laughs> you know look I, I, I promise you we will really really try our best to to make a show that doesn't let everybody down and you know Ruth and I we just wouldn't we just wouldn't do it if we didn't feel like we had something to say so I I don't know when it will be but I, I hope it'll be I hope I don't know I hope it won't take 10 years I really really do well I hope so too but you know in the meantime I'm gonna watch the repeat this Christmas and enjoy life have a great Christmas, James. Have a great Christmas, Joe. Lovely to meet you both and you so enjoy much. the rest of your day. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank Bye. you, Stephanie.